What is up, guys? This is Max Cup 4, and today we're watching one versus one from the tournament. We have Roma playing as the Finland, and then we have Hamilcar playing as the Soviets. All right, let's go ahead and see which uh, which doctrine they went for. We have T30, which is offensive. So Hamilcar has gone offensive with the Soviets. Let's hop over to Roma real quick, and we'll see what he went. He went. Uh, he had offensive band, so he's going to be going with. Uh, Let's see, where where is Finland early war? I don't know these doctrines pretty well, so pardon me for not. Looks like Irregular, he's going to be using his uh, CC commandos. Looks like uh, scout troops from Hamilcar are going to be reaching the, the center first. And then we have a second squad coming up from Roma. Oh, it looks like he's getting their center, securing the center. These players are both very good players, so we're going to probably see a lot of grenade play. This guy's dancing back and forth. Some machine guns. Ooh. Grenades going off. Grenade in there. Oh my, Molotov's going out. Got a ton of guys up here. He's got a good spread of units. Uh, Hamilcar's definitely got a good position. But it looks like uh, Roma is outnumbering him. Right now, we got a second push coming out to the northern side. Oh, it was a tree catching on fire from that uh, Molotov. Flanks coming in. It's going to be interesting because pretty much everything is rifles or machine guns, but mainly rifles. SMGs are not very prevalent uh, in the good old early war. Oh, got a guy going down. Roma's getting some kills. Meanwhile, we got the flanks coming in. Ham cars coming over to the south, south side. Let's go ahead and look at this hill. It looks like, uh, oh, there's one MP40. Looks like Roma's gonna be defending. Four, four or five riflemen. Oh, guy going down. Damn. But uh, Hamilcar has got the cap. He's got two, two MP40s. They're just shredding these guys. These riflemen are not. Oh my god, that guy's dead as fuck. All right. Roma's starting to decap the center though, so you gotta watch out. Roma's getting into the center. Meanwhile, it looks like he's destroyed most of uh, these SMGs, these two MP40s. Ooh, and just decimate uh, Hamilcar's control of that hill. He's only got one guy up here, and looks like he's losing center. Yeah, he's losing center. And grenades coming in, or all these Molotovs are being brutal, being able to burn down these buildings, he's destroying that building open up the center quite a bit here. These SMGs are certainly helping them. What are these? These aren't MP40s. These are MP41s, I believe? Or are those PPSHs? I can't tell. If you guys know in the comments, just go ahead and let me know. Grenades going in. He's pushing up. Looks like he's going to be s little scouts. Sneaky scouts coming in. Looks like he's throwing Molotovs and whatnot over here th thinking that there's more infantry. Meanwhile, we got... Soviet squad coming up to the center. This is a large squad. It's got a SMGs, two SMGs, and it's got a machine gun. So, and pushing the center. Looks like Roma has regained control, and this whole point is pretty much on fire. A lot of smoke being used by both sides. Like Roma's trying to get people in position to be able to take this back. It's a lot harder to do close combat in the early war when there's everyone has freaking rifles. This guy's pulling back over here. Roma has managed to take control of this hill. He's going to have a, a good uh, flank on his side. Looks like Hamilcar is taking back the center, though. Wrestling it back from him. We're getting close to the five-minute mark. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to see from him. Probably the commandos, if I had to guess. If I was a bet, man. He's been pouring in infantry squads. Looks like he's using these uh, scout squads quite a bit. Uh, where are they at? Scout section. He's bringing a lot of scout sections in. Or it looks like it might be the... Not sure which scout section he's bringing in. Got that one rifleman left. It's like some close quarters stuff going on here. Riflemen just engaging each other. Hamilcar is definitely making the offensive back. Grenades going out. Grenades going out though. This guy's about to be blown up. I think. Looks like the grenade missed him. These guys are all grouped together. One grenade could spell disaster for them. Looks like a smoke grenade though. <laughs> Might have ran out of regular grenades. Ooh, this, this house going down could be bad. Losing a lot of cover on hand cars. Definitely need to start digging in, I think. Because I'm 
themselves some cover. Got a storm going on too. Awesome. Oh my god, the amount of Molotovs is just kind of insane. Everything is literally on fire. And five minute mark, we have, what do we have this? The T-30 being called in by Hamilcar and we have the, I don't think we've had anything called in from, uh, no, nothing's been called in from good old Roma. He's got a really good position on this hill, but uh, losing the center is going to be big. He's getting rid of all that cover with his guys. But he's getting wiped out of the center. Hamilcar is getting numerical advantage in the center. Doing quite well. We got one more guy trying to use some grenades, looks like. Reinforcements are pouring in here, but they're all... Oh my god, good grenade. Four guys going down there. Good push. Where's his T30? Maybe taking out that building. Taking out all his cover. Ooh. Might be getting, catching this guy on fire. T30 is going to come up on that hill, too. Flames are going down. But the T30 is coming up on the hill. I'm not sure if he has any anti tank rifles up there. It doesn't look like he does. This could be spelled disaster. I don't think he has any anti tank. I could. No, maybe I'm not seeing them. C30 is a light tank, but Finland doesn't have much in the sense of tanks, especially early war. Oh, I hear a that tank rifle. Where's he at? Where's he at? There's anti-tank rifle firing. There's something there. Looks like he's gonna be backing off. There he is. Yep, he's got an anti-tank rifle over here. Clearly, Roma would have guys ready. Looks like we got... Oh, are these the... Commandos? He sent... Yeah, he got some CC, CC commandos coming in. These elite guys. They can camouflage very well. It looks like they have a... Looks like almost like American 30 cal. I'm not sure what kind of machine gun that is. Pretty badass, though. Let's see if we can't get a shot at that. This guy looks old, too. Oh yeah. All right, let's zoom back out. Hamilcar is in the dominant position, that's for sure. And it looks like he's starting to push Roma back from the hill as well. His only really uh, place that he seems to be winning. But he's starting to take people out. But oh, the T-30's coming to rescue. Love the lights that it has this on this thing. Let's see if we can get a shot at this thing. Look at that. I love the lights on it. Because you don't see lights very often. Ooh, AT gun. I mean, AT rifle's doing some damage. It's going to be going back. So it's kind of blind firing a little bit. I managed to get one of them. AT rifle's going to be able to penetrate this thing pretty easily. Hamilcar once again holding the lead. Let's see uh, kills. About even, 32-35. Driving straight through the building. Holy cow. That's one way to do it. <laughs> That's hilarious. Alright, we got another squad coming up. Another squad coming up to contest. And then we got the center. This guy's firing at point blank range. Ooh. Good take. Roma's doing another counteroffensive back into the center. Need some more squads. Ooh. Not sure what happened there, what was being called. Those commanders are pretty dang good, looks like. Oh, T-30 is going to be firing from the background, though. This thing is going to be trying to put in the work. Alright, so that should be it for screenshots. Now we can focus on the game. T-30 is managing a couple snipes in here and there. And we have reinforcements. Soviets coming in. Let's switch over to Amcar. Right. Let's see what he's got. Contesting the center. Looks like Romic is going to be trying to retake it. Pop cap wise, he's 36 or 96 out of 100, so he's getting pretty full. He's got a lot of infantry. 
Ooh, Molotov going down that house. Taking out this guy. Where did he go? Oh my gosh. That's just getting obliterated. They gotta stay down. They gotta stay in this little covered lane. Stay away from that T30. Ramik is definitely trying to get some more commandos in there. He's just gonna be. Oh, excuse me, not commandos. He's gonna get his uh, regular infantry in there. Scouts. Meanwhile, we have reinforcements. Scout squad coming in. From the Soviets. What do they have? Uh, what do we have at the 15 minute mark? T28, T35, 76 mm. I think either of those heavy tanks could definitely help get some superiority in the center. He needs some. He could get some fire support, especially if he could get a. Uh, you get that land battleship up here on this hill, you could pour some fire into there. He's just got a good... Got a good base of dudes. These guys are all pretty spaced out. I mean, spaced up, so they could definitely get killed pretty easily. Ooh, grenade going down. That guy going down. Trading people. These guys are all out on the road. Not much cover, but they're all prone, and there's a lot of smoke. Grenade coming in. This guy's about to Looks like he cooked that grenade, so it hit almost exactly whenever. Yeah, definitely some micro going in there. Awesome players, as you can see, cooking grenades off. Takes a lot of, a little bit of micro, just cooking grenades off here and there. Surprisingly, there hasn't been that much battles on the flanks. They've kind of steadied out. Um, kind of a no man's land. They're refusing to advance, and this, uh, this eastern and southern area has not really been contested. Looks like Hamilcar is getting the cap once again, and he's pushing these guys off with the grenades. However, we do have a machine gun that's going to be covering this uh, this area and forcing him to use smoke. There's a T-30 firing off again. Though. I forgot that's back there. We got flamethrower coming in. Looks like we first commander, commissar. Yeah, he's keeping the commissar back there in that building. We got flamethrower coming. A flamethrower could be a very good uh, good use being pushed up there. Oof, oof, oof. With that, all that smoke. Using these commandos, great effect. Getting close to 15 minute mark. Looks like Roma's getting the cap. Crazily enough. And looks like we have ammo coming in. It's gonna be resupplying the T30. This thing's a little bit damaged. And uh, it's only got six kills, surprisingly. For all that firing, it's only killed six guys. But it is uh, scary at least. So much smoke being used. These top tier players not going to be an easy game. That's for damn sure. Oh, got another guy going down. Another going down. Oh, Molotov being sent over. Killing the Rumba's guys. Sounds like AT rifle is sniping uh, dudes. I believe that's this guy. He's throwing a anti-tank grenade. Looks like that's gonna be going off. I think it's gonna be hitting anybody. That's just a rifleman. Um, looks like he's finally starting to dig in. Yeah, he's got some foxes on the edge of the map, on the edge of the point. It's definitely gonna be helping him out. Smoke's starting to clear out. T30 looks like it's gonna be resupplying and then going back to the front possibly. Ammo car is getting the cap once again. Where's that? He's keeping that officer back though. He's not looking, not wanting to mess with it. Let's see what we got coming in. It's another rifle squad. Let's check it out. 56 and 65. It looks like uh, Romish has got a little bit more kills, but uh, it's not a significant amount. What squad just came in? Oh, he's sending some more commandos, looks like, I think. Oh, yeah. Surprisingly, they see no vehicles from over here. Infantry only. He's losing the center again, but he's getting more infantry in there. Surprised I haven't seen him digging at all. As he has almost no real cover other than these, uh, what's left of these buildings. Flamethrower coming. Oh, big attack by Hamilcar. Not getting much done before he gets sniped, though. That squad was coming out at the right moment. If he would have waited just a second longer, he probably could have burned a bunch of the squad. Unfortunate for him. And looks like they're all going to be digging in. 
All right, 15 minute mark. We're gonna be see what's coming in. We could have a flamethrower tank. We could have a bombing run. Could have the 76. I'm not sure what he's gonna use. Meanwhile, uh, Hamilcar could be using those two heavy tanks as well. T30 finally coming up. Looks like Roma is gonna be digging in and trying to get rid of the cap weight that he's advantage. All these guys are just digging in under fire. Using that smoke that uh, Hamilcar has actually been using him for himself to their advantage. Now he's got some heavy cover. Excellent use of that smoke. Some kills here and there. We got another scout squad trying to sneak up over here, but they both have significant amounts of infantry. And looks like we had the 7630. Yeah, 76 millimeter field gun is coming in. And we got some infantry pushing in as well. Not sure how much this is going to be able to do. T30 got that one guy that was out of cover. Looks like the AT guns, I mean, the anti tank rifle is going to be trying to take that T30 out once again. Sniper coming in. That could be very effective in this type of stalemate that I have. And now he's moving in the 76 gun. This thing could be devastating. With Roman now having the advantage of the cap weight. There needs to be something, he needs some sort of artillery to be able to take out these guys. I'm not sure what his plan is, but. Not sure he's dug in as much. He's only got a couple foxholes, so. Roma seems to be in a superior defensive stance, but uh, they're all kind of in one area. So if like you get some mortars or something, then this could be could be bad. Trying looks like he's trying to get a grenade, but he's not able to sneak up past that. Roma is getting the kill. 77, 68, still, still doing pretty good both sides. Hamilcar killing some guys. T30. Honestly, I think you should just flank this big assaulting the hill with a T30 because the T30, I mean, he does have that one anti-tank rifle, so maybe, maybe I'm thinking of being too aggressive, but. Oh, baby. T35. And the 76 can definitely defeat this, but this thing has also got a lot of guns on it. Land battleship. What's that? Sniper? Ooh, he's got a sniper too. We have the Battle of the Snipers. Can we see who's going to get this the snipe off? That'd be a bad, badass if that sniper got that sniper. Oh! Counter snipe by Roman. Holy cow. <laughs> what a shot. T26 is moving in. Doesn't look like the 76 is in position to take it out, but he's going to try to move up there. This thing has got so many guns. Is that one just fired? Is that one just fired? This thing is moving up. I don't know if he knows about the 76. I don't think he's going to fire the 76 until he gets into range. At least that would be the smart thing to do. Trying, trying to get the killing shot. And a whole fuck ton of infantry are coming in as well. Game car is not one to lose this point. T30 is firing away as well. T30 looks like it's almost in range at 6. He's moving that, he's moving the AT gun? I'm not sure where he's going to move him to. I'm not sure what he's doing. Well, we've got a huge push coming on. Camel car. He's pushing up a ton of people. A ton of infantry moving up right now. A lot of infantry going down though. No smoke being used by either side. T30 is doing a lot of shooting, but it's not hitting a lot. 76 being repositioned. Oh, it looks like he's going to try to snipe the T30. Maybe he's going to try to get side shot. T28. T35, excuse me. Just for some little bit of friendly fire. T35 might see these infantry. Needs to be careful, these infantry could sneak up on it. We have an AT, that tank rifle. He's trying to get some shots off right now. Some infantry might be going down. 76 is just out of range. Not sure what the 76 is shooting at. Actually, never mind, it was shooting at this. Oh, gets hit again. 76 is 
take out a large majority of the crew. This could be bad, very bad. Alright. Backing off a little bit. Roma is taking the, taking the lead just about. He's definitely got more kills. 76 is dangerous news, and Roma's infantry just been shredding. Now the 76 is starting to do some serious work as well. The bonus tank back to repair. T-35 is going to move back to repair. Let's see. He has 100 left. Not sure what he's going to save up for. Maybe he's going to use the airstrikes, or he's going to use his heavy artillery later on. I'm not entirely sure. Infantry looks pretty even, but he's got a lot of infantry spaced in here. They're starting to run out of ammo, and it looks like one went down. Ooh, this is dangerous, though. He's sneaking... That is maybe I'm maybe I'm not seeing things right. Ooh, this guy needs to be careful. Not sure why he's pinging that. T thirty went down. Did not see that. It must have happened whenever uh must have got taken out when I was looking over there. I hate to see it. I think Romish is definitely he's getting the advantage now. Taking full advantage of it as well. All his infantry in one location though. This T-35 might be able to do some stuff. Oh god. Sniper is about to take that uh he needs to be careful because the sniper could take that out. The sniper is trying to take out that officer. You can take that officer out. It could be huge. Looks like a push going on the hill as well. More reinforcements have been sent in by Roma. And looks like another T-30 being spent by uh, um, Hamilcar. Trying to get a flank and maybe pushing up on the center. Might be worth it for him to sneak an officer in one of these holes and then hide him. I think he might need more fox, fox bowls. Said, add a boy. Oh no. I think he just. I think he just sniped the. Yeah, he must have. Here, let me double check. Hundred percent. He just his officer definitely just got sniped. Oh my God, that's crazy. Roma is definitely in a superior situation right now. T30 being immobilized. The crew being killed. Charging up with all his infantry now. This is not looking good. Not looking good at all. Seven six is gonna be moving over to try to take out that T twenty eight now. Once again. T thirty five, guys, not T twenty eight. Keep calling it the wrong one. Ooh, it's trying to get in position. It's gonna try its best. I was moving it up there. He thinks it's safe back here. But then 76 is gonna try to get that shot in. Got a side shot in. Looks like doesn't miss. Ooh, got broken. That's not good.
hitting the tree. This thing is not looking good. Oh, that's why. It's lagging. God dang it. Oh, shit. T-35 taking out part of the crew of the gun. Oh, the gun going down. This could be huge. I'm losing the gun. Oh, he's towing it. I didn't even know you could tow it once they've broken that much. That's smart. Towing the broken gun out of there. Awesome move by him. And now we have the KV-2 nuke wagon coming up. This is what he needs to clear off that infantry. If he can nuke those infantry out of there before that gun gets back in service, he can turn this game around. But he needs to operate that thing quickly. T-35 trying to get some kills in. KV-2. This is going to be his last hope to clear off. If he can start clearing off some of his infantry, then we'll be sitting pretty. Ooh. He only killed one, but he damaged quite a bit. And all these guys are grouped up, so this could be bad news. Very, very bad news. Especially since that 76 needs to be repaired before it can get back in action. Or it's back in action. I'm just repairing it more. Oh, man. The KV-2 can get some shots. Ooh, taking out two guys and damaging us. the second one. He needs to start killing the guys off that are actually on the point, though. Because if he can't kill off these guys on the point, he's going to lose. He needs to take that. Looks like Romick is repairing the T-30. He's going to be trying to steal this T-30 from him as well. KV-2 shot should be coming in soon. Where's it at? Oh, he's pushing up. He's pushing up. Get more infantry in the center. KV-2 is pushing up as well. Might see that T-30 getting repaired. Oh, he's focused on the center. A little too close. The shot. A lot more infantry coming in here. Hammer car making a big push now. He knows he has to use this advantage that he has his KV-2 fire support. A lot of guys going down, though. Where's that KV-2? There's a nuke wagon. Gonna land next. All these infantry so grouped up together. KV-2 landing back here. Overshooting once again. He's one right in here. He'll be going. What we got back here? The armored car coming in? Looks like he used out of command points, so he just called in the command armored car. Yeah, he's down to his last five. Roma is getting... Close to winning. Gave it to killing one guy that got a little too close. He really needs to clear off these massive blob of infantry. They're all within this one area. It's like one, two, three, four KV shots could just clear off this entire area. A lot of casualties going down for Hamilcar. He's sending some more, another squad though. Right into the meat grinder. Neville's always a meat grinder. It's always just infantry dying. Over and over. I'm not sure if he thinks there's an officer back there, or that's why he's shutting that house, or if he's just uh, afraid that he's gonna hide something behind there. Both tanks are over here shelling, though. T-35 and the KV-2 are both shelling at the point. not proven to be enough though. Oof. That KV-2 to do the damage. 883, 1000. If he doesn't take it now, it's going to be bad, bad news. KV-2 killing one guy. He needs to kill the guys inside the point though. I think he's trying to as much as he can. More squads get in. Oh! Camel car could be getting the cap. No squad coming in. Another you know squad. Another guy's being taken out. T35 is putting in the most work, it looks like. KV2 needs to get a good shot. This guy's been pushing up now. Sniper pushing up. Oh man. He only has these guys in the center now. Camel car is making a comeback of a lifetime. Taking out another dude over here. He's only got these four or five guys in the center. 
Another squad coming to the flank, it looks like. And he's crawling some more guys in there as best he can. But these guys know there's a cave between the area, so there's only a matter of time. The flank coming in. Where's that KB2? Ooh, obliterating that building, taking out another guy. These guys are losing their cover really quick. And Hamilcar has rest, just about rested the point in. He's just trying to get all the infantry in as he can. I'm not sure Roma has anything to counter these two tanks staying at range. And it's gonna be bad, bad news. Looks like he's got the 76 coming up over here to try to do a flank. He's gonna try to take out the KB2, maybe get on the hill. And the T30 should be almost repaired, so. We could see some crazy plays yet. We know that uh, Roma's definitely got the time. Now, Hamilcar's definitely got the advantage to recapture this point. He's got two tanks offering fire support. Taking out another two guys right here. 76 in T30 might be trying some cheeky moves right here. Looks like it's exactly what they're going to be trying. He sees that moving the KV-2 back a little bit. Now he's pulling it back. Look at that play. Holy cow. Getting a shot off and immediately loading him up. What wild high level play. That's insane. Got some scouts sneaking in here. I'm gonna try to get into the point. Maybe they're trying to go for the KB2. Oh man, they damage a bunch of them, but it looks like the KB2 is kind of exposed out here. You could sneak up there and get an actual anti-tank grenade on it. That would be pretty wild. This armor car is providing support though, so I don't think he's going to be able to get that uh, cheeky move on. AT gun is going back and forth just trying to get cheeky shots. Holy cow. The T-35 is pushed up to the center though. And we have the T-30 being stolen, but ooh, immediately being taken out by the KV-2. The nuke wagon. He's like, no. No way. We have a BT-7 machine gun tank coming in. Good flank coming in. Ooh. Oh my gosh. If Hamilcar makes this recovery, that would be insane. This guy's out of ammo. He's gonna try to throw an anti-tank grenade though. Oh, could he get it? I'm be lagging. I'm lagging, I think. Yep. Didn't go down. 76 out there. Roma is in a bad position now. He's got a lot, a lot of time to recover, but He's lost a lot quickly and his positions are falling point. He's lost the point in the hill and the sensor is now firmly under uh, freaking Hamilcar's control. It's T-35 doing a lot of the work. He's got 14 kills and one tank kill. KV-2 is up to 15 kills now as well. He's starting to creep some guys back into the point, but I don't think it's going to it is enough at this current time. There needs to be some more foxholes dug by him as well. Oof. Another crush going in over there. The 76 is trying to sneak around. It's his best bet. If that 76 goes down, I think it's going to be GG for him. I'm not sure what else he has for column wise. He's only, he's still got 100 left, so I'm not sure what he's waiting for. To he's got the 105, and he's got some airstrikes, and then they could bring in another 76 in. Two 76s could potentially spell disaster for him, but I'm not sure what the big what the huge plan is here. KV-2 is just nuking that area. We have a lot of Finnish infantry spreading out and trying to push into the point. These machine guns, all these turrets are just, ooh, 76. Sneaking up a shot though. Forcing this crew to de dismount, pulling off the turret. All the guys out coming out of there, not looking good. Not looking good at all. That might be exactly what Roman needs. He's gonna keep trying to shoot this until it blows up. Looks like it's caught on fire, so that thing is donezo for good. Now he's just got the KV-2 back here. He's trying to avoid the same fate as it. And he's starting to decap the center, actually. The KV-2 is gonna be nuking the center, though. Surprisingly, it looks like uh, Hamilcar has more infantry, but these must have more cap weight or something. Uh, veteran C infantry maybe BT2 coming in with his machine guns trying to strafe off some of these guys 
a lot of back and forth. Some friendly fire going in on there. Snipe going in as well. Roma is... Ooh, Hamilcar's got more infantry in there, but they're all pretty close in. They gotta stand... Get down and this gonna start getting sniped. Some grenades in here could be spell serious damage. Looks like the grenades are gonna be flying like crazy. So much, so many grenades. KV2 coming in there. Damaging that guy, but was a little close. Amokar losing a lot of infantry. Always pushing his officer in there. He's careful. Oh, that's not officer, excuse me. That's uh, tank commander. Silly me. Matt Lidling, Hamilcar to stay. Oh, still. Oh, machine gun coming in. Seventy-six is finally on the, over here on the back side of the point, but he's got it over here. So do we get? Oh, it's over here. Excuse me. Keeps lagging a little bit for me. Looks like the BT two went down. Machine guns are all out of service. The hammer car has recaptured the center. Starting to count down once again. This game is back and forth. I'm sure, we got a grenade coming in. These guys might be getting hit. Looks like one guy going down. Those individual ones are going to be helping quite a bit. Got four three ton coming in with a bunch of infantry. What kind of shenanigans is going to try here? We don't know what kind of shenanigans he's going to try. Oh, it looks like he's going out of there. The sniper is doing some damage for Roma. Let's see how many kills it's got up to. 29 infantry kills. This guy is freaking insane. 29. Sniper is putting some serious harassment in. A lot more infantry coming in. KV-2 is inching forward. It looks like he's being very careful with it. He's definitely keeping it back after losing that T-28 and that BT-2. At least BT2 is going to provide some heavy cover in the center, in all honesty. More infantry just creeping into the center. Trying to get as much infantry in there as physically possible. <laughs> and the crew, tank crewman up there with a the pistol. Not going to be able to do much. More guys are creeping in. Looks like he's starting to get the decap. Especially once these guys start coming in, he's going to have the decap for sure. KV2 needs to fire right here. This would be huge, 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 huge. That KV2 can get a shot right in here. Blow up a lot of those infantry. You just keep up, am keep ammo with the KV2 and just keep it shelling the center. That's what, in my opinion. Looks like that's what he might be trying to do. He is moving in. So much infantry right here. If you can get that KV-2 in position, and it could be spelled bad, bad news. If Roma is starting to recapture the center, this could be really bad. Another infantry squad coming up, though, over there for Hamilcar. He desperately needs to put infantry in there. Some smoke's coming in. The guys getting sniped left and right. KV-2 is coming up, being direct controlled in the background, though. If you can get one shot in here, then they'll be... Spell a huge defeat. Sniper is just annihilating guys. Look at that. God damn. 33 kills now. That sniper has done his done his work for sure. Holy cow. Looks like Hamilcar is taking it back. Ooh, KB2 knocking this tree down. And he knows, I think he knows where they're at. It's just hard to get that hard to get that. I think there's like a slight change in elevation that they're hiding behind this road and that's preventing the KV-2 from getting that awesome shot in there. Oh! We have a thing coming in. Oh my gosh! He stopped. He shot it down. Just killed an entire squad. Nice cheeky flank by uh, Roma. Oh my goodness. He's trying to try to take out the KV-2. It definitely failed for him. There's only one guy left. He's going to need to clear that last guy because that could uh, that could definitely fuck with this KV-2. That one last dude. Ooh. Now he's dead. 
entire. That was that was epic though. That freaking flank was gonna be insane. I didn't even see that coming out. It's sneaky. We had the 105 coming in. This is his last ditch effort. Loses that 105 could be bad, bad news. 76 is still in operation. More infantry coming in over here. Looks like Hamilcar is just about. Yeah, Hamilcar's got it in his control now. He's gonna start capping him down. Looks like the armored car is moving up to scout out, make sure. He's making sure that he killed. I think he's still thinking there's some enemy in these bushes. Huge, huge advantage for Hamilcar right now. The 105 is going to start leveling the field right now. That thing is going to be able to start shredding infantry. Knocking them down. This sniper is just ungodly. Where, where is he at? Where's our sniper? KB2 needs to do some counter barrage. Oh man, the KB2 is decimating his infantry, his own infantry. He just keeps killing these guys that are up there. KB2 getting hit by the 105. Needs to be careful. Get hit by the KB2 goes down. It could be really bad news. And he is just tracking him. Looks like he's able to see KV-2 firing away as well. Missing the shot. A lot of infantry in here, though. Forcing him to move that KV-2 around, though, is going to make his infantry game not as good. Hitting the tree above there. Nobody's in control, but Roma's almost got control of the center, though. You just need to keep control of it just a little bit longer. Managing to damage several infantry over here. That's the shots where he needs to land. He's got a perfect shot right now. He stays right there, keeps annihilating infantry. This could be good for him. But he's moving back because that 105 is scared him or scared him off. Looks like it's a missing shot. He's gonna have to keep dodging it. But there's not really a thing he's got that can counter this 105. That's gonna be bad, bad news for him. So much back and forth. Roma is back in the lead. We have 221 to 203. Still a super close game. Roma seems to be taking the advantage now with that 105 in operation. Oh my god, the KV2 doing friendly fire again. I, he's got to be hating this so much. 105 is just keeping his KV2 dancing around too. He's afraid to push. He needs to get, uh, he needs to get infantry in the center. That's what he needs. They're down so much. The end of the game, like you're just down so much manpower. He's only getting like 0 0.2 back per second, I think. Uh, KV2 is going to be trying to push up close. He's going to try to take out this 105, it looks like. KV2 getting close, close range shots. This could be bad news. He's getting ballsy with it. 76 is going to be firing. Seventy-six is firing recon. Oh man, this KB2 could be trying to go. He's trying to go for the 105. He's going for it. Oh man. 105 misses. KB2 is coming in. He's gonna try to run him over. It looks like. Oh no. I'm lagging. I'm lagging. I'm lagging hard. Where is it? Where is it? Oh my god. We gotta be lagging. The KB2's gotta be over here. It's so annoying. I don't know where the actual KB2 is. The 105. Oh no. Maybe I'm not lagging. Maybe this is a real deal. be honest I don't know what's going on with lagging a little bit oh where's the KB2 at there's a duel going on I'm sure it doesn't look like this but there is a duel going on
the KV-2 must have went down. That's probably what happened. We tried to make a flank, and we got a final airstrike coming in. Bam. Roma taking the win. Hard fought game. Well, well played by both players. Leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.